I'm Leilani Rorani and I'm the former world number one squash champion and I live in Wellington, New Zealand. I started playing squash when I was about 10 years old. I love energetic things. And this is me trying to look glamorous, <laughs> mean but glamorous at the same time. This is actually when I did retire. The story was written about me about that sudden departure and I had only just achieved my goal, that was my ultimate goal to become the world number one and I had just made it. The emotion is still quite raw because that was a big major turning point for me. And I knew at that moment that I wanted to give up what I had to have something better. All right. Joseph and Pearl have a really great day yeah. today, okay? Yep, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. see you later. Yeah, Listen to your not. teachers. <laughs> These days, um, my bag is filled with, you know, little babies' hats, toys, wipes, nappies. And I look at my squash outfits because I've still got them and they're this small. And I think, how did I fit into that? I've been a stay-at-home mum now for eight years. I did not know that it was going to be as hard as what it has been. I thought it was going to be perfect, but that does not happen. It doesn't happen in real life. When I had my third child, that's when I was diagnosed with postnatal depression. I wish I could tell you how I wish I could measure your mood. One day I woke up, my husband was getting ready for work, and I told him I was going for a walk. And I ended up at a hotel and explained to him that I just couldn't come back. I couldn't come back. I just said, I just don't know who I am anymore. And love is only a song I know. I was trying so hard to, to copy people and to meet expectations of other people, and it just all caught up with me. It was really hard for me because if you're a person of faith, if you believe in God, how can you possibly get depressed? Let's roll this harmony through. I was constantly thinking that I was a failure in the home, thinking that my children had to be in bed at 7.30, all enrolled in piano lessons, things like that, or else I wasn't a good mother. I could only last from mealtime to mealtime. I felt like I didn't have anything to hold on to. I needed a strength that was greater than medication, more than counselling. And so my faith in God helped me to know that I was going to be able to cope and that I was going to be a good mum. I have learnt that it's okay to not be perfect. No one wants you to pretend. You know, we strive our very best to be as good as we can be, but knowing that we don't have to be perfect has been a great healer for me. The success hasn't been in overcoming it completely. The success has been learning to manage it and to live with it and not feel that you're less of a person because of something like depression. My name is Leilani Dorani. I'm a wife, I'm a mother of four young children. I believe in God and in being true to oneself. And I'm a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs>